Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. It's 2020 Barrett Jackson time. Yes, unbelievable 2020. You have nine cars here, some really special cars for you this year. We're gonna load them up today. There's the first rig right there behind us. It's gonna have five foot in that and four in the next one. So let's walk around and see what we got. Our first one is our 1985 Jeep CJ10. This is a custom build we did in the shop. We chronicled it. You can see it on YouTube or on Facebook. This is one of only 2,301 ever built. When we found this, it had 11,000 actual miles on it. So these were two wheel drive and they were locked in low because they were used to pull things around by the military. So we changed the transfer case in it. So it's now got high and low range. We put Dana 44 axles from a Wagoneer underneath it. It still has its original six cylinder Nissan diesel in it, which people love. We, we spray lined the entire body. We custom made these front flares to match the back. Chris and Colin made this incredible bed for it, which we started off with a TJ. This is a TJ roll bar custom fit. It's got a slider in the back. This is a world cab. And you can tell if it's a world cab because it's not curved and it's squared off here. But what a really cool piece. Power steering, power brakes, automatic. It's got new seats in it, spray lined inside. And again, 11,751 actual miles. If you want a unique Jeep in your collection, boy, this is it. It turned out really great. Next we have, and I'm really excited about this, a 1977 Ford Bronco. 77 was the last year they made the Bronco. Everybody knows how desirable these rigs are. We found this in New Mexico. It was underneath the carport. It had been parked there since 1981. We pulled it in and did a major mechanical service head to toe. Alex killed it on this one. This truck retains 100% of its original paint. What we did is we cleaned it as good as we could, got all the wax on it, did a very light scuff, I did three coats of clear to retain all its original patina. I think it's incredibly cool. Blue's a very desirable color, and as I said, it's a Ranger. This has almost every option available. V8 302, power steering, power brakes, automatic, hard top, alloy wheels, lockout hubs, dual range gas tanks. And one of my favorite things about this truck is you gotta see the interior. The interior in this truck is amazing. We did restore the seats with the original house tooth material, which is very, very difficult to find original radios in it. So when you sit inside this thing, it looks new on the inside, but the outside it retains all its patina, which you can never duplicate. Really excited about this. One of the coolest finds of the year. Next, we have an incredibly special red eye. So what is the red eye for those of you not watching this platform? It's a Hellcat wide body with a 797 horsepower motor, basically the same motor as the Demon. So you're looking at an 800 horsepower car, and this one was ordered backseat delete, which I think is really cool and it has got a demon harness bar in the back with demon shoulder harnesses on both sides now this car hasn't even gone through dealer prep so this is going to be as new as you could ever get in my opinion the red eye is going to be the most collectible car on the platform i have a demon i've got a red eye i've got regular hellcats i'm not bragging i'm just saying i've driven them all a lot this is my favorite car to drive this is what you want to have on the street and this is what you want to have on the track and on the highway the demon's a great car but it's only good for a quarter mile Boom, and last but not least in the Fox Body Collection, we sold 42 of these in the last three years. This is the last remaining one we have. That's actually not true, there's one more in the warehouse, but it's not as rare as this. So this is our last Fox Body to go to Barrett Jackson. I think it's the ultimate. This is a 1980 McLaren M81. They only made 11 of these cars, and this is serial number four. This car has got 525 actual miles on it. We found it, it was totally original, untouched, it had been sitting in storage for many, many, many years. We went ahead and blew the car apart, did an incredible restoration. The paint body work is far beyond what it was when it left the factory. And the engine bay detail is probably the best I've ever seen on a Fox body. So you had McLaren working with SVO to bring this platform together. They wanted to build 250 of these cars so they could be, go through homologation but they only built 11 of them. They were so expensive, they stopped, went back to the drawing board, and then you didn't see the SVO again until 1983-ish, um, which we've had some really nice SVOs. Those were full production cars. Most people that have studied these cars, and I believe this, they're all a little bit different on the first 11. And serial number three and serial number four have a P at the end of them, which I believe, and the other guys believe, it's prototype. However, is this a holy grail fox body? Absolutely. It is in stunning condition. It belongs in a museum. Walk around and check out the bodywork. These cars came with Stuart Warner gauges. Tyler just spilled my coffee, so I won't have my coffee anymore, just a little bit left. 
Recaro seats, roll bar, and again, we're at uh, got 526 miles on it now. This car still has its original tires on it. As these Fox bodies have grown in value, these, some guys have there put these insane collections together. Most of them don't have one of these. What a find, I'm so proud of this car. Uh, the paint body work my guys did on it is just absolutely top notch. I want you to come by and see this car. It sells on Thursday, really excited about it. The paperwork on the McLaren is just absolutely unbelievable. You gotta see it. The storyboards we'll have in front of all our cars so you can see our paperwork at Barrett Jackson. Next, what we have is I believe a rapidly up and coming, increasing collectible. This is the Bullet car. In 2001, Ford came out with their edition Bullet. And you know the Bullet cars had all kinds of hype lately. It's probably one of the most cloned cars currently being built right now, if not the most cloned car. These are really, really neat cars. This one's got 18,000 actual miles. What a stud car. This is the tribute to the Bullet car from the movie that Steve McQueen did. And now we have one of my favorite marks of all time, Austin Healey. This is a BJ8 3000 Mark II Phase 3. So this car has got all the creature comforts at the tail end of Austin Healey production. This is going to be the nicest ride, the nicest drive, and the nicest interior. So you've got chrome wire wheels. You've got a Burlwood dash. You have roll-up windows instead of the side curtains. You've got a full convertible top. This car was all the way down to its bare chassis, had a full restoration done on it. It was done by an enthusiast in his garage. We do have some pictures of the photo album of it. Um, runs and drives very, very nice. This particular one is a 1966. They made them through the model year 1967. Um, I want you to see the engine bay detail on this. It's extremely nice as well. What a beautiful car. So if, if you're looking for a, a really nice British sports car, you commonly see the BJH used in the movies too. Beautiful blue, tobacco colored interior. And there you have it. There's our first six cars going to Barrett Jackson. Next up, we got Big Chris. He's gonna show us a 911 Porsche that we're bringing to the sale and two of our Black Mountain product showcase Jeeps, a JK and a JL, stage three with all of our options. Hi, I'm Big Chris and I'm gonna be going to Barrett Jackson this year with Dennis Collins and Kelsey Collins. I want to talk to you about this Porsche 911 today. It's a 1979 example, and as you see, it's actually a convertible, which is kind of weird because Porsche didn't make convertibles back then, but by demand, people were, uh, people were asking for them. Now, this car was fitted with a Porsche conversion cabriolet soft top. As you see, it's gloss white, white leather interior, and black piping. The car's absolutely stunning. While the conversion was taking place, the owner decided to fit 930 rear quarter panels. As you see, they're turbo items. And for me, the finishing touch had to be the 964 Cup 1 alloy wheels. They are genuine 17 inch items. So if you're uh, wanting to have some fun in the summer, this vehicle would suit you down to the ground. Also, this car is fitted with a three liter SC engine, arguably the best six cylinder bulletproof motor that Porsche ever made. This car will be reliable for anybody to use and is in absolute stunning condition. Here we have a 2017 stage three Black Mountain JK. As you can see, this thing is far from stock. Chris and Colin, our guys at Black Mountain, actually fitted a stage three supercharger kit to this vehicle and now has over 100 horsepower over stock. This thing isn't just for off-roading, it moves as well. As you can see, it's had the addition of a Black Mountain stage two front bumper, 8,000 pound winch, also the addition of five inch suspension lift and our 17 inch Rubicon wheels. It comes with full graphics package as well as our lighting system. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning, especially with our paint scheme on the hood. This is our two-door 2018 JL. As you can see, it's finished in gloss black. It's got a five-inch lift kit on it. Also a stage three vehicle as well. You'll see the stage two Black Mountain uh, front bumper, 8,000 pound winch, five-inch lift kit. We've also got our Black Mountain paint scheme on the heat reduction hood. And also this vehicle is practically new. It may be 2018, but it's just got over a hundred miles on it. This has been one of our show pieces here at Black Mountain in Dallas, Texas and an absolute showstopper for the crowds as well. You guys are gonna to get to see this, not only in Scottsdale, but you're gonna be able to bid on it as well. One of our flagship two-door JLs. Anyway, enough from me. Now you know about the vehicles, back to Dennis. Boom, there you have it, our 2020 Barrett-Jackson collection. Nine vehicles, four selling on Thursday, five selling on Sunday. Our guys did a incredible job detailing, restoring, and mechanically servicing these cars. We're proud to have been caretakers for them and rallying these up in the last year. Big Chris is gonna be there if you wanna to talk to him about Black Mountain Jeep products, JK and JL. Kelsey and I will be there to talk to you about collector cars or you can talk to Chris about collector cars. So please like, tag, share, and follow this video. 
if you're at Barrett Jackson on Thursday or Sunday, please come and find us. And if you have some spare time, go to Dennis Collins Car World on YouTube right now. We've got eight episodes of very rare collections that we filmed. Thanks for watching.